China targets a near-Earth asteroid for an upcoming deflection test. NASA has already done such a test, now China aims to do it. Passat Rabi reports an upcoming Chinese mission will attempt to deflect a small asteroid in the ultimate showdown of planetary defense. Actually, we know that they're in a space race. China is targeting a small, non-threatening near-Earth asteroid for a daring attempt to run into it at high speeds and move it off its course. The Chinese asteroid deflection test could happen as early as 2027 in a project similar to NASA's recent DART mission. The recent paper in the Journal of Deep Science Exploration revealed new details about China's upcoming planetary defense mission, which will also serve a dual purpose, the probe and probe the ancient space rock for clues regarding its origins. China's first announcement is plans to uh, launch the asteroid deflection mission in late 2022, targeting asteroid 219 VL5. With a pair of spacecraft launched in 2025, they will be launched then, next year that is. And according to the new paper, however, China is now targeting a different asteroid 215 XF261 with a launch date no earlier than 2027. The target of the mission may change as China redef uh, redefines its uh, launch window. Now, asteroid 215 XF261 is around 98 feet wide, that's 30 meters. I had a recent encounter with Earth when it zipped past our planet at a distance of 31 million miles, that's 50 million kilometers, on Thursday, on Tuesday, July 9. The near-Earth asteroid routinely passes by the planet twice a year, with the next flyby February 21, 2025. Of the 31,000 near-Earth asteroids that have been discovered, about 2,300 are considered potentially hazardous by NASA. These are asteroids that come within 30 million miles of our planet. The chosen asteroid for the mission poses no uh, current uh, threat. It's 50 million mile, uh, uh, 31 million miles, so it's 1 million miles, miles more. No current threat to Earth, but the, the test aims to display a method of deflecting a space rock should one be headed towards our planet in the future. Now we know the distance between the Earth and the Sun is 93 million miles. Now China's upcoming missions will send two spacecraft to orbit the asteroid for a period between three and six months. One of the spacecraft designed to carry out observations to study its size, shape, composition, and orbit according to the Planetary Society. Its more violent twin, the impactor spacecraft, will slam into the asteroid in a high-speed kinetic energy impact test. The observation spacecraft will monitor the impact as well as its aftermath for a period of 6 to 12 months. If this sounds slightly familiar, that's because NASA pulled off a similar mission not too long ago. NASA's DART, that's Double Asteroid Redirect Test, DART for short, the mission impacted a small asteroid in September 2022 to nudge it off its orbital course, the mission targeted a small moonlet, Dimorphos, which was orbiting a larger space rock called Didymus, and it was a success. Prior to DART's impact, it took Dimorphos 11 hours 55 minutes to orbit around Didymus, which decreased to 11 hours 23 minutes after the impact. A follow-up mission will launch in October to study the aftermath of the DART mission, Unlike NASA's mission, it's not clear what kind of deviation the Chinese mission will cause to its target asteroid and whether it will affect its distance from our Earth. China wants to get in on the planetary defense action, launching what is essentially those two missions combined, with the two spacecraft launching at the same time. The Chinese asteroid deflection test could probably potentially provide more insight into how to protect our planet from incoming threats, as well as learn more about the origins of the solar system by probing ancient space rocks orbiting around the sun. This is on Gizmoto by Passant Rabi. Please leave your comments. And thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting.
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.